Hello everybody! Welcome to Let's Play the Early Access of Baldur's Gate 3! Well, I was actually not expecting to do this myself, but I just couldn't stop myself because this game is like a dream come true for me, a true D&D game. And with the last technological improvements, developments, so I am very very excited to do this and of course this is going to be a blind playthrough but I am not going to title it as blind and for sure when the game comes out uh, officially I will be playing it again uh, but I am not going to play it so truly like I always do in my other games it's not going to be a completionist playthrough I'm just I just want to see the game I just want to look around and feel the taste of it a little bit maybe you can say and I was just so curious and I couldn't stop myself from getting the early access of this game so let's delve into it and I also hope that you guys are going to enjoy this and maybe you can get an idea about uh, buying this game or not. Uh, it might help you with that uh, or if it is something that you'd like or not. So let's just get into it. I am planning to do this uh, for once a week, a little bit longer than usual, like one hour episodes. Uh, it will be on every Sunday. Uh, let's just do this, right? I'm so excited. I really want to do this. All right. A new game. Let's start. You know, I always play the game. Oh, okay. I shut up now. Mind flares. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like where this is going. Ew. Ah, no! Oh. No! I'm not going to look! Uh, uh oh. No! <laughs> no! Just, just finish this thing! <laughs> to never see that scene again by the way <laughs> so uh, i kind of have an idea about what i want to play i actually want to play as a sorcerer but i just learned that i can't because they do not have it yet they do not have it officially released yet so i will have to choose one of these and by the way like in all my blind rpg playthroughs I am going to play this as myself. I am going to put myself into the shoes of this character. I will be this character and I, whatever I do, whatever I decide will be the consequences that I have to uh, take in the end because of my actions. So uh, I am not going to reload my saves to try to change my options, uh, whatever happens will have to stay like that 
I know that uh, this is just the early access right now and I will I am not going to get that deep into the game but still this is how I play it so I hope that if you like how I play this game in the early access you will come back to watch me in the official release I don't know when probably years away but still okay let's start hmm this is an high elf this is a high elf I, I actually want to play as a half elf that's what I always do in D&D games because it gives me the uh, idea of being something both myself and having a part from this uh, fantastical world like half human myself and half elf from this world so it is easier for me to get into the reality of this game by the way to adapt myself into it so that's what I usually do and I want to do that again because I like it so here is race and I'm going to choose the half elf and I see immediately that things are changing but let's go back let's start from the beginning I choose the half I choose the half elf and let's continue so huh okay these are the characters that you can actually play as I think they are also your companions but not for the early access you cannot play them here and no, my name is going to be of course Mistra <laughs> Hmm, select a background. You have spent your life in service to a temple, learning sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the god or gods you worship. Background features inside proficiency, religion proficiency. So maybe it's just better for me to choose something, some background that will have the proficiencies that I would like to have. Let me look at it. Uh, I have medicine, insight, religion and history. But this is for cleric, right? So I should also choose my class. Because I know that medicine comes with cleric. And this is what's chosen for me here. So since I cannot play as a sorcerer, I wanted to play as a sorcerer so much. I may choose a warlock or wizard, but I know that warlock is quite more similar to sorcerer in uh, charisma will be my base ability but uh, during the other games other dnd games like never winter nights i never choose warlock because you had to be evil to do it and i never wanted to be evil but i know that in this game that's not an obstacle for me because you can be whatever you want you can play as however you want and still be a warlock or a paladin and not be lawful good so that's fantastic this is also what I've been dreaming of for many years to be play like in this game so let's choose the warlock it still does not uh, really relate with me because they are as we can read here bound by a pact on all-powerful patron like uh, something evil usually a fiend a subclass the great old one fiend so it doesn't really relate to me that's why i like to play as a sorcerer but let's read since i'm going to play as a warlock right now warlocks in service to fiends work towards corrupting destructive ends intentionally or otherwise and receive hellish blessings in return hmm. Great Old One, warlocks bound to elric beings in the Fire Realms work towards inscrutable goals, gaining strange powers over entropy and the mind. Let's go with the fiend. I'm not sure what's going to be the really real difference here, but let's go for it. So I can actually customize this. Let's just put them off then. Blade Ward, gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing and slashing damage from weapon attacks. Chill Touch, hmm, a sailor creature with the chill of the grave. Eltric Blast, conjure a beam of crackling energy that deals 1d10 force damage. I like this, why not? Friends, enchant a non-hostile creature to gain advantage on charisma checks against it. Ooh, I like it. 
Mage hand Create a spectral hand that can manipulate and interact with objects Wow <laughs> I like this too True strike divine A character's defenses to give you advantage on attack rolls Poison spray It's like just a basic attack So I can only choose two And let's go for this for now And I'm going to choose some spells What's that armor of Actually I may choose some kind of armor It might be the clever thing to do Let's have it Let's have one defensive and one offensive power Arms of Hadar Calls for tendrils <laughs> I don't want to be a mind player yet <laughs> Burning hands uh, Fire shots from your uh, straight fingers hmm, But this is a cl close range one I prefer to stay long range fighter Especially when I am squishy as a sorcerer or a warlock <laughs> charm person magically charm a humanoid that you can see a charm creature can harm the charmer and the charmer has advantage on charisma checks against the creature hmm, command command a creature to halt preventing it from moving or taking actions expeditious retreat turn dash into a bonus action allowing you to move at an incredible pace Hellish River. The next time you take damage, you use your reaction to surround your attacker in hellish flames that deal 2d10 fire damage. Hex. Curse the creature to deal an additional 1d6 necro necrotic damage. Hmm. Protection from evil. Witch Bolt. Hmm. Should I choose that one? Or Charm Person? I'm going to have a very high level of charisma and I think it will help me to get the persuasion checks really well. So let's just get this. Hmm. So maximum hit points per level, hit points 10. Alright, I have charisma and wisdom saving throws, light armor proficiency and simple weapon. The Darkman's Blessing, when you reduce a hostile creature to 0 hit points, this gift from your patron grants you Charisma Modifier plus level hit points. Hmm, okay, sure. So, uh, I think we are done here. Race. I already choose the half elf and... I can customize this too. What's this? Minor illusion. Create an illusionary image that distracts nearby creatures, compelling them to investigate. Mm. Acid splash, blade ward, chill touch, dancing lights, firebolt, friends, enchant a non hostile creature to gain. Hmm, I remember that. Light, poison spray, ray of frost, shocking grasp. Hmm. True strike. I don't know. Hmm. Should I choose this one? You know, one can trip all your choice from the wizard spell list. Intelligence is your spellcasting ability for it. I don't know. Maybe I can choose that. I am. Um I am not sure but uh, yeah I am a high half elf and I can choose wood half elf hmm but I'm going to choose the high half elf I think and is there any other choice let me see oh draw half elf but no I prefer the high half elf I think let me look at that thing again. Uh, there was another cantrip that I can get from here. Hmm. I don't know. Well, this is not my. This is not going to be my true playthrough. So I guess it's all right to make some mistakes. Hmm. Let's get this shocking grass. Okay, there's something here that I would like to play with. Race ability improvements. I have Charisma plus 2, Dark Vision and Fey Ancestry. Mm, 
I cannot put on to my charisma, but I already have a very high charisma, I think, yes. Maybe I should put on to my constitution because I don't want to be too squishy and die a lot. And maybe to wisdom? I'm not sure, it might help me with my inside checks. Okay. By the way, I forgot to choose this. Yes, I came back for it. <laughs> Uh, let me choose. I want to change this. Charlatan, Deception, Slight. Criminal, Deception, Stealth. Entertainer, Acrobatics, Performance. Folk, Hero, Animal Handling, Survival. Guild Artisan, Insight and Persuasion. Yes, I like Insight and Persuasion a lot. That's what I need in my character. So now I have... Ooh, Intimidation. I have Intimidation now. Persuasion, Insight and Arcana. Very nice, very, very, very nice. <laughs> I'm so excited, by the way. <laughs> Alright, uh, I already choose this. And for my class, I have these. Ooh, I'll come back to this. Yeah, I forgot to do this too. <laughs> and what should I put into? I think wisdom and constitution is nice let's let's stay with those and yeah skills let me see i have insight and persuasion already from my background intimidation deception history investigation very nice hmm Investigation is the art of deduction and extracting information whether from objects or people. I like it. And Arcana is knowledge of magic and its applications useful for interacting with enchanted items or powerful spells. I think this can be done by a companion. I hope. I hope. And I can choose intimidation and investigation. Hmm. And I have performance, acrobatics, sleight of hand. Ooh, very nice. Hmm, I can pick pockets. <laughs> Medicine, perception. All right. Okay, let's go to appearance then. Finally. <laughs> okay, let's hear this voice. Hells, something just woke up down here. A tidy slot, but no room. Okay. The stone's less worn. No me voice, please. Hells, something just woke up down here. Hmm. A tidy slot, but no room. This one sounds Stone. more dramatic, Hell. and I have the only four, so. Hells. A tidy slot, but no room. The stones are less worn here. Hmm. Recently uncovered. Hell. A tidy slot, but no room. Okay. Maybe this is better after all. And I'll need to choose a hat, but let's go with the hair color and eye color first because Black Raven. Black natural and black brown. I like it. Let's choose that. Uh, I don't think I want a tattoo. And for my eye color, I'm probably going to go for brown. Black. Hmm. Now let's go for this. Skin color. I prefer these medium tones usually. Hmm. Maybe this one. I like this better. And I'll need to choose a hat. Let me see. Hmm. I guess this is the best one for me at least. And I will need to choose a hairstyle. Hmm. They look really nice. I like it. It's like when you mo mod, mod the Neverwinter Nights game to have better hair and you have these kind of things usually. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I saw one that I liked a lot. I'll probably go back to it. Yes, I'll probably go back to that one. Where is it? Hmm. Okay, yes. Very nice. I like it. And 
no birds, please, please, please don't. <laughs> and I'll need to have a makeup. I like her makeup. I don't really want to touch it. So, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Abilities. Okay. I don't want this negative effect on my strength. So maybe I can just subtract from my constitution perhaps. It's too high. And I can actually put on one more. Let's put it to my wisdom. Okay. This might work. Sure. Let's start. Tell me. Who do you dream of at night? Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you dream of? Who attracts you? You mean who I fancy? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, first of all, I fancy usually a uh, male <laughs> and not a draw, probably. <laughs> all right. What are you doing, game? What are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> this looks so. <laughs> Look at that clothing. <laughs> this is what I fancy, truly. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's just <laughs> change it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. This is this is not something I like to do, actually. This is not how I fancy people. They're not like up to you, up to your. I don't know. You don't. You can't think people like that and then like them, but maybe there's a type that you fancy. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is so. Uh, I don't know. Let's maybe give him darker hair I might I might like that better probably black natural yeah okay no tattoos maybe yeah uh, maybe you can yeah sure but I don't like the hair at all <laughs> let's look into the hair I don't want to play with this a lot really <laughs> yeah, whatever, stay like this, okay? I don't know. Nah, okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to play with it more. But this clothing, can I just change that? If I can just change that, I will accept anything <laughs> inside it. <laughs> But not in this. <laughs> All right. Ooh. From where we left? <laughs> what? They killed each other? I remember this scene from the trailer. Is this Baldur's Gate? They teleport them into the ship, but... Oh, 
Get donkey riding dragons. I am probably inside all that ship, right? Of course I am. What am I talking about? I am one of the captives that has that thingy in brain. <laughs> in my brain. Okay, that's me. Oh. to like this a lot hello hello oh I'm here okay oh, my head uh, you probably crashed it somewhere okay let me just play with the controls a little bit this is how I walk probably all right oh I can interact I still be stuck inside if we haven't been attacked Okay, that's where you came out from. Alright. Can I highlight the objects or something? Or I will have to just... Someone else got out. Yeah, that's Gisyanki girl. This is the pool that thing came from. Hmm. The parasite. I remember. behind your eye. Investigation? Let me see. Details, plus one from intelligence and plus two from proficiency. Ooh, I choose the proficiency, so let's try it. I need to roll, okay. Really? Really? You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Because you're not looking at it, just turn your head. <laughs> This must be a bug or something. <laughs> okay, let me just reach toward it. It's casing from the beneath your hands, sloshing volatile. Okay, get away from it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't tell me that I'm injured. Okay. Can I turn the camera? I don't think I can. Mind flare pot. Someone's in. Survivors. Might be. We don't know that. Uh, okay, let me look into the map first. So I am here. I can try to investigate these places. Ooh. Can, can you come here? Uh, what the heck? Where the hell are we? I have no idea. 
Oh, you can't come here. Okay, it's the end of the map. Okay, just let's just move on. And here, another pot. Wonder who was inside. Can you come here? No, it's just okay. That's me being a little bit too completionist, but I shouldn't do this at the early access. I think this is just for trying the game. And because of my curiosity that I cannot say it just by looking at trailers. Hello, loot? Devil kid. Am I in the hells? Oh. We are here. What? Who are you? What's that? The scroll of Firebolt, nice. By the way, I haven't even looked at what I have here. I will soon enough, I guess. What? Brains. Vicious chair. Can't use. A brain in a jar. Can I? Ah, examine. Oh, dark mind. A humanoid brain alive and in perfect condition suspended in cerebrospinal fluid okay sure okay let me just look at these main hand attack okay slash inflicts bleeding slash at a creature okay this is where I probably use my main hand weapon which is I have no idea what is hmm I have a dagger simple boots padded armor nothing else okay let's go back and let me see this is potions okay witch bolt scroll of revivity nice armor of glasses witch bolt mage hand okay i remember this let's put it here and i have a fire scroll all right there's something here come along oh sure Are you sure? From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. Who? They return. Hmm. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? <laughs> a newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flares who abducted you. Hmm. Okay, so my arcana thingy worked here. Hmm, I think you're past the point of saving. You sound afraid. Why are you afraid? The enemy. So many enemies. Okay, I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free yeah. us. Please. Is that a clever thing to do? I'm not sure. Uh, let's try to investigate <laughs> again. Alright. Now we can from this strange context you notice nothing unusual about the brain all right can i all right let's try that again nice Ew. 
brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. Like? You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Should I? I don't know. What am I doing, really? 14? And I really love all that. Okay. Ew! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> the creature seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. No. Just. How nice. Yes. What a lovely creature you are. Our freedom is ours, friend. Friend? The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! At the helm, we are needed. What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Okay. Is that thing going to help me if I go with it? What should I call you? Us. Brainy? We are us. Okay. Well, fine, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Sure, I hope you're not just going to bite me from the ass. What's that? Hmm. Okay, it's just a hmm. <laughs> Let's leave this place. Oh, you're staying there. Okay, bye. Is it really going to stay there? Uh, well, I've been through that trouble taking that thing with me. Now it can't come to help me. <laughs> oh, okay, it's back. <laughs> so this is where I go, probably, yeah. Let's go. Whoa! Dragons! Uh, how am I supposed to... To maybe use one of these. I, I saw something like a jump before. Can I do that? Yay! You jump too? Okay. I'm going to imagine that I have a very strange dog. Alright. Oh, I see someone over there. Come on. Oh, jump on me. Don't swoop on me. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing. A silver sword. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. What do you mean? We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind uh, like in the trailer. Uh. Is there anything we can do about that? We can really? do nothing until we escape. That must be okay. our priority. And who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. You say so? Would you mind? 
So is the helm our way out of here? It is where we might gain control of the Ga'ar. Okay. The ship. Once in command, we will deal with our game captors. Okay. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will <gasps> remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. But that's what I thought so. Can I talk to it? Let's talk. The creature reaches inside your mind, its thoughts rattling against yours. Something inside you squirms in recognition. Hey. Friend, we will go to the helm now. Uh... Ooh, I can ask. Why was I forced onto this ship? To know you. To love you. To give you our gift. Hmm. Something was put in my eye. What was it? A gift. A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful. Sure. So powerful. So beautiful. Just as you are. Okay. <laughs> we are going to the helm. Going to the home. Sure. Let's go. Hey, I see. Now the combat begins. Alright. Combat happens in turns. Each turn you can do one action and one bonus action. You can also move. Okay. A roll of the die decides turn order. This is called initiative and influenced by your dexterity. Your available actions are highlighted, okay. Bonus actions. Bonus actions are actions you can perform on top of your normal actions, okay. Movement bar. The movement bar shows how much distance you can cover during your turn. Shared initiative. Characters in the same party that are next to each other in the initiative order can act at the same time. Alright. So... Go in. What is that? Lash out with deadly close to deal 2d4 slashing damage. How do I do that? But it's too far. So anything else you can do? You don't have long range. But okay, okay. Let's just turn down and you you were what are you let me I can I can just look at it maybe you can come here you have heavy armor so you're probably a fighter right but you have yeah, let's do this ranged attack. And okay, combat tutorial. Click here to end your turn. I, I know, I knew that. I saw it. But not enough resources. What just happened? Nice. You can stay here and you you can you do yes you should attack this one mm. oh i think i did a mistake this was not an attack okay they'll be coming this way that's all you can move nice am i hurt a little bit. Let's put this on. Okay, no more resources. And let's just get rid of this one.
you come here? All right. And you... Can you do a long range attack, maybe? All right. Critical miss? Really? All right. <laughs> So what I do now? Shocking grasp. Let's try this one. Too high. But no. What if I do something else then? Yes. Woohoo! You stay over here. Okay. And you maybe come here to deal with that thing. Yes. that you don't really do much damage with that so go close to it and I'm going to do this again yay you proved surprisingly adequate in battle thank you now to the helm that's what we are going to do, but I want to loot. I have a sword now, but I don't think I can use it. Maybe you can use it? Let me check my map. So I need to go towards that way. Enroll student, wounded imp, wounded imp. Okay, no place to go here. Ooh, mind player. Fight bulb. Potion of speed. Nice. What's that? Restoration. Okay. Nice. What are these? Will we fight them? Where we go now? This is not. Uh, let me. This is the helm, right? Is it? What are you talking about? Bo uh, got me. Got me. Got me. Right in the gut. Tell the bates I'll be all right. The mind flayers have already informed her. Leave her, or we will share her fate. Okay, I see stairs over here. Can I go up there? Yes. And... But what is it? I just want to look. Can't you just... Mm. Alright. Ooh, we're going to fight. Take this. failed I wasn't really trying to stealth you come here can't you yes you can and main hand attack why not too far it's not uh, can, you, can you just why the hell is that so? Let me... You cannot cover any more speed. You came all the way here and 
it's just going to be like do this and let's turn this where are you going mm, shocking graphs i'm going to try this one Ooh, i need to go close to it for that let's do it too you can stay over there and you are going to come here yes you can do it and attack this all right who's next you can come here and yes please do that i guess she just rolled 20 need the restoration again where do I need to go now not this way oh I see maybe yes from here I see now can you do some healing or something not really Maybe I should have gone back to that... Whoa! Restoration pod. Another of those thingies. Let me just save this. Okay. Oh! Restoration! already touched it sorry Damn it! what someone over there the man isn't dead but he's totally unresponsive okay let's go to the talking one then hello you get me out of this dancing we have no time for stragglers Hmm. Can I do this? Let's try. I hit roll six. Nice. Warding runes. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. Hmm. Try to disrupt the bright lines of magic with a touch. Can I? Are you satisfied? We need to go! Leave the one. The one must be left. The pot's stuck fast. I can't free you. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. I'm sorry. Safe if she stays. Safe if we go. I'm sorry. Can I try again? You will not die here. Maybe there's another way. Let me investigate. There's a room over here. What? 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 How many hosts of these gay infected? Hey. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. All right. <laughs> we just chair. And you go and sit on it. Okay. <laughs> and what's that? Sigil. It could mean anything. Arcana failed. Could mean anything. Mm, can I use it? Could mean anything. Trained cleric. All right. Elaborate key. A beautiful wrought golden key plucked from a bloody corpse. I have no idea. Alright, let's get out of here. Mm. 
they're not going to attack us. They think that we are trolls. Ooh. And we have some things over here. And again, restoration. Not that I need it. Aquarium. Brains again. And... We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. If you say so. Maybe I just shouldn't do that because I think I am almost out of time. So let's just do this in the next episode, people. I'm going to finish it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this really helps you to get an idea about how the game is going to be. And see you again. Bye bye.